The Clown's Obsession. Daisy Williams was a beacon of normalcy in a small town wrapped in quiet streets and cozy homes. A petite young woman with long blonde hair and expressive blue eyes, she navigated her life with a nervous demeanor that was more a testament to her childhood fears than her current reality. As a 20-year-old college student deeply immersed in the study of psychology, Daisy cherished her ordinary days filled with lectures and laughter among a close-knit group of friends. However, her tranquil existence was overshadowed by a long-standing phobia, an acute fear of clowns stemming from a haunting experience in her youth. This fear, once a distant echo of her past, surged to the forefront of her reality when Daisy noticed an unsettling presence, a haunting clown named Clarence. With his grotesque smile and dark, hollow eyes, Clarence was a sinister figure who began to shadow Daisy, disrupting the serenity of her day-to-day -day life. As days morphed into nights, Daisy's once peaceful routines became a source of escalating dread. She began to notice Clarence's eerie presence with alarming frequency. The sight of his tattered clown costume lurking outside her windows, or the shadow of his slender figure trailing her as she walked to and from school, became all too common. The terror that gripped Daisy was palpable, its icy fingers tightening around her heart each time she caught a glimpse of Clarence's grotesque smile or the dark void of his eyes. It was clear that his intentions were far from benign, and the realization that she was the focus of his menacing obsession sent shivers down her spine. The situation took a darker turn when Clarence began to interact with Daisy in ways that were both subtle and menacing. These interactions, though void of physical harm, were laden with ominous implications. The rustling of her mailbox flag late at night, the appearance of disturbing clown figurines positioned to face her front door, and eerie, silent phone calls shattered Daisy's sense of safety. Her home, once a sanctuary, now felt like a stage for Clarence's twisted fixation. The fear and paranoia that consumed Daisy were not just about the presence of the clown, but the insidious ways he reminded her of his ever-watchful gaze. It was a psychological torment that seemed to delight in the slow unraveling of her peace of mind. The confrontation that Daisy had long feared became inevitable as Clarence's obsession pushed him to cross the line from a menacing specter to a tangible threat. One evening, as Daisy returned from a late study session, the air around her home felt charged with a sinister energy. The shadows seemed to move and the night was too quiet. As she approached her front door, Clarence emerged from the darkness, his figure more menacing than ever. His intent was clear. Daisy was not just an object of his obsession, she was his target. Clown's twisted fascination with Daisy had morphed into a dangerous pursuit setting the stage for a chilling confrontation that put her life in jeopardy. In the gripping finale, Daisy faced Clarence in a heart-stopping showdown that tested the limits of her courage and will to survive. With every ounce of strength, she fought to escape the clutches of the deranged clown whose obsession had driven him to madness. The tension that had been building reached its climax as Daisy and Clarence engaged in a desperate struggle. Quick thinking and sheer determination became her weapons as she sought to outmaneuver her attacker. In a breathless moment, Daisy managed to turn the tables on Clarence, using her knowledge of psychology to exploit his weaknesses and escape his grasp. The showdown, fraught with fear and adrenaline, culminated in Daisy's narrow escape, leaving Clarence to face the consequences of his actions. Daisy, 
though shaken, emerged from the ordeal with a newfound strength, her survival a testament to her resilience in the face of unimaginable terror.